Well, here is a matchup that can make a huge difference. It's the Lucas Oil Nationals, part of the NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series, Antron Brown and Terry McMillan. Now, if McMillan can take Brown down, he takes a major step away from the other two who have already failed. Well, we saw, you know, Spencer Massey spin the tires, but let's talk about lane choice here. It hasn't seemed to make much of a difference. Everybody pretty much has taken the left-hand lane. Tony Schumacher, who is Antron's teammate, chose the right-hand lane, and he was low to the round up to that point when he made the pass. Since then, Larry Dixon and Doug Coletta ran just slightly quicker, but it appears that both lanes are very even, so there's no advantage either way for either driver on that situation. And after walking up the staging lanes with the Emily Oil team and watching Richard Hartman get more aggressive and go back into the box, go less aggressive, get into the clutch timers, make them more aggressive, at the end of it, he brought it up exactly like he wants to run it. Based on qualifying session number three, when the team ran their 388 he says i looked at the graph there are a couple of places we can tickle the clutch flows hopefully go a little quicker give antron brown all he can handle by tickling the clutch flows they're going to try to get that thing to accelerate just probably a little bit harder through the middle of the racetrack which uh, would step it up and run about a 386 and if they can do that they'll definitely give antron a race an hour all three of those on the bubble at 10 have lost in the first round same as they did in Seattle and everything remains for 10 about the same well it could have been an issue for Terry McMillan of a mechanical problem because you saw cylinders going out not too long after he left the starting line Antron only a 388 laps time uh, so if they if Terry McMillan and their team could have ran anywhere close to that they would have had a shot Antron was a couple hundred but you saw the one cylinder go out there and then right after you're going to see the second cylinder go out uh, shortly after that and boy it just uh, slowed that race car down and Terry felt that second one go out and got off the throttle. Well, Bob Vandergrift's crew chief, Rob Flynn, is back in the pits, and they've been able to determine what exactly happened that caused the car to backfire and the chutes to pop out when he uh, hit the throttle at the, the starting line. And, Rob, I, I can't believe this happened to you guys. Can you explain what happened? Yeah, it's an unfortunate situation here. Um, this is the uh, cable that goes to the back of the car from the safety shutoff uh, to the uh, receiver in the back of the car, pulls the chutes, um, shut the fuel off, if you have any kind of problem down the other end of the track. It runs through the whole chassis, so there is a chance for uh, it to get pinched or, or some abrasion. And uh, basically, you can see right here, it's, it's uh, got a, uh, uh, it, it's been cut and uh, probably shorted out on something or it pinched and it shorted out within itself. It's extremely uh, disappointing for the uh, CMJ team because uh, I think we had a chance to uh, make up some ground in the countdown. Yeah, you can see on the replay there, the chutes pop out. That's part of the safety procedure. And, man, guys, talk about a freak occurrence. But luck has been on their side. The other contenders for that final spot went out in the first round, so they have one more shot at making the countdown to the championship. Looking ahead to the second round with Funny Car on the line, let's take a look at the Lucas Oil top fuel ladder. And uh, when you look down that, the matchup between Doug Coletta and uh, Antron Brown will be huge. So will Del Worsham, number one qualifier, and Brandon Bernstein just looking for a win. The other side of the ladder, Larry Dixon's going to have lane choice over Morgan Lucas, and a little bit of that old rivalry coming back. Tony Schumacher is going to have lane choice over Hot Rod Fuller. Both drivers make good runs in the first round. 